Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make three different kinds of anti-stress balls. These are really cute and they're also super fun to play with. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be amazing. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My username is morethingsnim. And now without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Alrighty, for the first dress ball, you will need a balloon. You can use any colored balloon that you like. I am going to be using white. And the second thing you will need are water beads. You can easily find these at Walmart or any craft store. So using the help of a funnel, all I'm going to do is fill the balloon with the water beads. It's that simple and that easy. Once you've filled your balloon, go ahead and tie a knot and cut off any excess. Okay, this step is completely optional. I'm going in with some permanent markers and I'm going to draw a cute seal design. Like I said, you don't have to do this. I just wanted my stress balls to look cute, so that's why I am making a design. One thing I do want to mention is that if you do end up making a design, the design will eventually rub off. As you keep playing with the stress ball, there will be some wear and tear. So I'm just throwing it out there, just an FYI for you guys. And here is the first stress ball all completed. For the second stress ball, again, you will need a balloon. I'm using a pink colored one. And the second thing you're going to need is air dry clay. All I'm going to do is take my balloon and put the air dry clay inside. Once you tie up the balloon, the air dry clay will not dry out. So it's gonna stay the way it is. And that's what's going to make this stress ball so much fun to play with. All three of the stress balls that I'm making today have very different textures, obviously because I'm using different ingredients in each of them. Um, so like when you play with them, you can actually tell a difference. Like with the water bead one, you can tell that it's kind of like liquidy. With the clay one that I'm making right now, um, this one is very like moldable. So you can like turn it into different shapes. Um, so yeah, that's like the fun part about making these stress balls is that whatever ingredient that you add inside, you can have like this different texture and it's like really fun and cool to play with. Again, this is completely optional. I am going to draw a cute bear design on the balloon. If you feel like the ink is going to smudge, dust a layer of cornstarch on top with a brush and that will prevent smudging of the ink. It's kind of like how you would set your makeup using a face powder. And here is the bare stress ball all completed. For the final stress ball, you will need a balloon. I'm using a blue colored balloon. And now using the help of a funnel, I am going to fill up the balloon using cornstarch. Okay, I will say that this is a bit of a process because when you start adding the cornstarch, you can see that it's kind of like sitting there in the funnel. So you have to push it inside and this does take a little bit of some time.
Once you've filled your balloon, go ahead and tie a knot. On this one, I decided to make a cute little bird design. And here is the stress ball all completed. And that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in a comment down below which stress ball was your favorite. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I love you all and I will see you in my next one.